Hey, in this video, you can watch Santa fly, not in a sleigh, but a hot air balloon. He's going to even show you how he puts it all together. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! So what, what are we looking at up there? So in order to fly a balloon, one of the first things you have to do is know where the winds are going. The winds are always, you can feel them on the ground. That's what you call your prevailing wind. So typically there's going to be a direction on the ground, but there's variations in direction as you climb in altitude. So as we go up, you may see a left or right hand turn. So we launched an orange helium balloon so we can see what's going on with the winds above us to know whether or not it's going to take us in the direction we're hoping for. What's it looking like? It's okay, except for we'd like to see a little more right than that, so we may end up relocating. See, this is where Adam always comes in. Yeah, that's what we call, yeah. Call on you on it. Take a handle off. Okay. I'll watch this one. Got it. Okay. 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 What we're doing now is attaching the basket burner to the basket and this assembly is basically pilot's duty eric is enough of a crew chief that he knows everything he has to do and needs knows to do then i go back after the fact and recheck his work but this is what literally holds the weight of the balloon and basket together so no one falls and gets hurt so looking at what we're doing here as you've seen people reach up and put cables on there are two cables on each of the four corners of this basket and once we attach these cables they go from this burner frame down the length of the pole, underneath of the basket, and up the other side. So they are a complete cradle assembly that goes under and holds the basket from underneath. When we assemble the balloon, we're doing the, the reverse. There's cables that go from the bottom of the balloon all the way up and over the top and back down to the basket. So you have a cradle from above and a cradle from below that attach to each other, and that's what keeps it together. Slide it out. I saw on Facebook that Santa may be making a flight out here today. So I figured, let me come out and get this on film. So Santa is, this Santa anyway, is my brother-in-law, Joe. Over there, those two guys, that's my other brother-in-law, Jim, in the fluorescent green. And then the other guy, the younger guy in the black coat is Joe's son, Eric. So I was married to Joe and Jimmy's uh, brother, Dave, before he passed away. So Joe, what's the plan? So the next thing you're gonna do is lay the basket down and attach it to the balloon. So if you turn to your right, you'll see Eric and Jim are setting the balloon up to make the attachment between the two. And then once that's done, we cold inflate the balloon with a fan, what they call cold packing, to give it its shape. Then we convert that cold air to hot air and that's what gives it its lift. So there's a few stages here before we're actually airborne. So Sue here in the green shirt in front of me. Also on the balloon previously, they sold the balloon. So she comes out now to assist because she misses ballooning. Okay, after 40 years, it's in your blood. Next step is to burner test. So we turn all the fuel lines on to make sure we have no leaks in the fuel lines. And then we fire the burners to make sure they're operating correctly. So we now have fuel for the burner. I will fire the burner. So Santa is trying to time this for when the kids get out of school and he's got some candy canes to hand out to them.
had to jump in there for to get a quick ride. Special thanks goes out to my brother-in-law, Joe Pluck, who, he, he owns the balloon and he's the pilot. And his company is called Stellar Hot Air Ballooning. I'll put a link to that in the description. But, you know, I've, I've never went in a hot air balloon. Um, you know, I've seen them from afar and they're cool to look at, but I really, really enjoyed the whole process seeing the setup the take down everything so joe thank you so much for letting us film that and be a part of this balloon education and adventure it was pretty awesome i thought hopefully everyone will enjoy it because they usually people just see the balloons up get in the balloons they miss all this other part and this other part i think is pretty fascinating so enjoy it guys